everyone and welcome back to my channel. In the other video I filmed today, I explained that I tried to tint my eyebrows and there might be some leftover tint around them and I haven't been feeling well due to an ulcer. My esophagus pretty much feels like it's on fire right now, I'm not gonna lie. So if my voice seems a little off, that's why. But anyways, today I am doing a Target follow-up haul. And this is just a few things that I had picked up on Target and wanted to follow up with you guys and tell you what I had been thinking of them. So let's get into it. The first thing are these dry shampoos that I got. And uh, this one that's in floral and flirty, I have not tried yet. I'm just one of those people that will use up one and then use the other. And for the past week, I've been using the Coconut and Exotic Tropical dry shampoo from them and this smells amazing and the smell lasts all day so if you're somebody that doesn't like that you might not like this but I do notice that this leaves a white tint in my hair if I don't really brush it out you know it will leave a white cast and that doesn't normally happen to me with dry shampoos so if you have darker hair you may not like that I think this brand does have a like brunette tinted one. I think they have a blonde tinted one too if I'm not mistaken. Please tell me if I'm wrong. Um, so if you find that this does that to you or if you don't want to risk that doing to you, so maybe pick up one of those instead. Um, yeah. I've actually been really liking this. I find that this works really well for taking out the grease in my hair so I will continue to use it despite the white cast thing. <laughs> The next one is the Yes To Cucumber Soothing Body Wash and this thing is one gigantic. I've been using it every day and I feel like I've barely made a dent in here but it just smells like a spa which is what I said when I originally hauled it and I have really been liking this in the past week and I find it really uh, moisturizing. I really love this smell. I love using this and I do have very sensitive skin and I haven't noticed any kind of problems with this. I haven't noticed any kind of breakouts or anything. So I've just been liking this in general. The next one is from e.l.f. It's their baked highlighter and blush gems and I'm wearing this today and when I swatched it I said I thought that this was going to be a more natural highlight and I definitely think it is. I don't think it's an in your face highlight, but sometimes I think that's nice. <laughs> and um, I'm also not noticing it emphasizing any kind of texture or anything. So I like this and I don't like a lot of baked products. The next one that I'm gonna show you is three different things. And it's these e.l.f. Aqua Beauty Aqua Infused Blush and Bronzer. I did buy three of them. One of them, I can already tell you, is too dark for me, so I haven't used it. I was going to give it to one of my sisters, and it's bronzed violet. I haven't even taken the cover off of it, because I can just tell by looking at it that it's too dark for me. The ones that I have used are both bronze pink beige. I noticed after I filmed my haul that these are actually the same, but they're in different packaging. And I don't know why. So I was kind of testing them out to see if I was going to get a different formula or different result. Um, when I open them up, you can see they look exactly the same. So I bought two of the same product. What else is new? So I have tested these out just using my fingers to put them on, to use sponges. And I like the bronzer, at least for on this side on my cheeks. I don't like it on my nose because I find that it wipes away product that's there, but for some reason doesn't do it on my cheeks. But um, I actually don't like the blush. And in general, I don't like cream blush, but uh, this blush was just really wiping away my foundation. And it was really pigmented when I put it on and then as I blended it out, it kind of disappeared and took the foundation with it. So I'm not a fan of the blushes. The bronzers I think are okay. I did put a um, powder over a cream bronzer. That's just what I like to do. So I don't know if I will continue using these. I definitely don't like the blush. We'll never try those again. I have very dry skin, 
So I feel like if you have more oily skin, you really want it to like them because if they're coming off like that with me with dry skin, it would probably be worse for oily skin. So unfortunately, I do think this would be something you can skip out on and you wouldn't really be missing much. I know this wasn't a super long video or anything. Um, like I said, I'm not feeling very well in my throat's yeah, that's an adjective now. But I wanted to quickly come on here and tell you guys about the things that I had purchased during my Target haul and let you know what I thought about them because I have been testing them out. And I just wanted to follow up and let you know. If you did like this video, please be sure to like and subscribe and hit the bell and all of that jazz. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram. My links are in the thingamajigger and I will see you later. Bye.